tools. Material. With the help of a level and some measuring rules, check the terrain levels, leaving always a slope of 1% or 2% for water evacuation. Prepare the mortar. Mix the mortar, prepared mortar with water and whisk until obtaining the desired consistency. Pour the mortar to the soil and spread it evenly. For better grip, you can sprinkle with white cement. This step is optional. Lay the pieces and smoothly tap their surface with the white rubber mallet. Let the distance considered appropriate between the tiles. Place the tiles according to the desired pattern, leaving a centimeter joint with the aid of a spacer or other element. Continue adding rows following the lines delimited by the measuring rules until finishing the flooring. Once the flooring is placed, we remove all the spacers and wait 24 hours before putting the grouting. Prepare the mortar. Mix junta press, mortar for joints, in the desired color with water until the consistency is as desired. Verney advice. We recommend replacing the rigid plastic plunger that comes by default in the grout gun with a soft plastic one. These parts are included in the mortar applicator spare packs. Fill the gun with the mixture and apply the joint according to the desired quantity. If you want a leveled joint, it should protrude slightly above the floor tile while it is being applied. You must avoid staining the piece and, in that case, leave the stain until the mortar is dry 3 or 4 hours and then clean it. Once the mortar has dried, use a brick jointer or similar to dress the joints and get a correct finish. Finally, brush to remove the excess mortar from the joints. Never use a wet sponge. And enjoy the result. <laughs>